a welcome again from Leicester in the UK. And again, I'm Nigel and I'm European President of God Squad. Our reflection today comes from Luke 21, 12 to 19. And I'm going to begin um, by reading this short passage before we, we start. So it says, but before all this, they will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogues, put you in prison, and you'll be brought before kings and governors and all on account of my name. And so you will bear testimony to me. But make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. For I will give you words of wisdom that none of your adversaries can, will be able to resist or contradict. You'll be betrayed even by parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends. And they will put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you because of me. But not a hair on your head will perish. Stand firm and you will inherit life. Well, we might notice um, that the passage starts with, but before all this, um, you, you may have noticed this trend to um, show the ending of, of programmes um, at the start of an episode, and then go back to what happened leading up to the particular dramatic event, which then gives context to the um, program. Well, the section um, just before our passage is important to give context to this reading. Well, here Jesus has been standing next to the one and only temple, which people had been admiring and saying, um, Jesus was saying, actually, uh, this temple will be destroyed. Um, no stone will remain standing on another. Jesus then gives some signs um, which will happen leading up to its destruction, such as wars, earthquakes, famines, signs from heaven. And in, in fact, some of these are recorded by Josephus, um, the Jewish historian. And as the Romans came and destroyed um, this temple in AD 70, which was the second time it had happened, and previously it had been destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar um, in 586 BC, but it had been rebuilt. So as we begin this passage, Jesus is primarily warning his disciples that persecution is coming. He's encouraging them to stand firm and he's telling them that they'll be handed over to the religious authorities. They'll be imprisoned and they'll be persecuted. Well, it's also telling them that um, it's important to continue to testify to him, to Jesus, to trust that he will give them the, the words to say in their defence. And for Peter and John, it, this isn't just theoretical. And later in Acts 3 and 4, um, Peter and John um, will go on to heal a man who was lame and to preach the gospel to many who then believed. So they believed in Jesus because of this. Well, they told the crowd that Jesus had been crucified, that he'd been raised from the dead, that salvation is found in no one else. The same good news that, that we need to share. Well, the religious leaders arrested them. They put them in prison. They commanded them not to speak or teach at all in, in the name of Jesus. Well, the question is, what would be our response to that? What would be our response? Would it be the same as Peter and John who replied, which is right in God's eyes to listen to you or to him? And as for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. We cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Peter and John's response. Well, I know that many of us have felt um, um, weighed down, um, 
by persecution in some sense or another many of us have felt betrayed by those close to us i know this but our response has to be to to look to jesus who will give us wisdom to act rightly in these situations to look to jesus who will give us the right words in the face of opposition to decide to stand firm as jesus commands us to listen to jesus rather than the popular voices to act with integrity when it's easier to back down well to continue to bear testimony um, to jesus through times of opposition and we may sometimes think is, is it worth it is it worth it well i know it's worth it not only did jesus suffer for me but he promises eternal life and this is the good news at the end of this passage he offers good news he offers eternal life to those who follow him which makes any suffering really pale into insignificance and the the disciples recognize this and we need to recognize this is it worth it yes and as it says in revelations there'll be no more tears no more pain no more death this is the hope we have in in jesus christ and finally jesus tells um tells the disciples and tells us it's the same message to stand firm and you will win life jesus says stand firm and you will win life so let's continue to stand um, firm for jesus knowing that we'll win life